Hi, I'm Ed Zinda, and this is What the Fum. In this video, I thought I'd talk about why you would use back-end development versus front-end development when working with blockchain. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and then hit that notification icon so you can stay up to date whenever I post a new video. Most of the decentralized applications you'll be working with will probably be front-end applications because you're trying to minimize the need for trust when you're creating these sort of applications. But there are times when uh, working on the back end is more useful. So we can just get into why that may be. First example would probably be when you want to cache data for your users. Say you want to give your users access to different events on your smart contracts or let them see a series of transactions that's, that have happened over time. To improve user experience, you can go ahead and receive these events or listen for these events and these transactions on the back end, store them in something like a database or a Redis server and allow your users to grab those almost instantly rather than clogging the network uh, querying for events. The next use case would probably be for batching transactions. Say you have a bunch of repeated transactions and it just takes a lot of time to, to uh, complete these transactions and you just don't want the user to have to worry about this before going on to the next part of the, the application flow. You can go ahead and have your user sign the transactions, store the transactions on your server for later, and then every so often take uh, the aggregate of all the transactions that your users have generated and then push them all through at one time. As long as these transactions aren't time sensitive, it's uh, a perfect use case for uh, batching the transactions and doing them all at the same time. Another use case would be automation. Uh, say you have a specific task or you need to call a specific method on a smart contract uh, at a certain time or at a certain interval. You could use something like uh, Ethereum alarm clock to do this uh, or create a smart contract that is incentivizes users to call this method uh, at certain intervals. But if you want something more reliable, you'd probably want to uh, create something on your own backend system to run uh, at certain intervals reliably at a certain uh, amount of time. And the last example I have is probably for a user experience or developer experience. Say for example your, uh, your client wants to integrate with the blockchain and they have a, uh, an experienced developer team but they have no idea how to work with uh, Ethereum or any sort of blockchain. You can abstract this interaction away from them uh, by creating a backend server that talks to the blockchain and then exposing an API that they can then use um, in their own applications. This will speed up the development for them and uh, save time of you having to uh, explain how to uh, connect their app to the blockchain. You basically create a middleware uh, for them to talk to and then uh, everything uh, is easier to work with that way. And that's it. Those are the uh, use cases where I would probably use back-end development versus front-end development when I'm working with blockchain applications. Uh, if you like this type of video format or this type of discussion, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.